How does Buff make money? Is it a legit or a safe site? Hey guys, in this video I'll be showing you guys how Buff makes money and why I don't use Buff because of it. Buff is a way to earn points and get rewards like gift cards just by playing games like Valorant, Fortnite, League of Legends, COD, Rocket League, Apex and many others. How do you earn points? Well, just play games. Also there are challenges in Buff like complete 5 wins in a certain game. One point is about 1 cent. Before I talk about how they make money, I just want to say though I would not recommend using it due to its low return on investment in time, it is still a legit site. You can actually earn gift cards with this. Now this just seems too good to be true, like how is Buff making money this way? Well, there are three ways. One, playing ads in the background. So companies would pay them to be shown and Buff would just put them in the background. Kinda genius if you ask me. Two, by premium subscriptions. Um, the yearly subscription for the maxed out one is $60. And finally, and most controversially, they make money by selling your info. A business cannot sustain itself with like a lot of loopholes. Eventually, advertisers would catch on to what Buff is doing. Buying their premium subscription might sound like a good idea, but even the top earners on the leaderboard make around $10 a month, when the subscription that they use are $8 a month. Think about that. The top earners on the whole site earn just about $2 a month and they're likely like playing for 8 plus hours a day. And this is with the premium subscription too. Let's say you play for 2 hours a day for a whole year with no subscription. You're probably gonna make like less than $10 for a year. Still though, they're still operating at a loss with this even though it is a small loss. So how did they get all the money like to sponsor YouTubers, to pay Tracker Network, to even pay their employees? Well, the answer is simple. They are selling your information. I know that no one looks at the terms of service, but if you look closely, they make specific remarks about looking at your IP. They even state that if you use a VPN to hide your IP, that's a breach of the TOS. So how does selling your info impact you? Well, they send that info to different companies and those companies then know your email, your habits, and your data. Those companies can send you emails, messages, etc. Sometimes being harmful. These could be scam emails, scam messages, etc. Trying to get your card info or something like that. Now this isn't Buff's fault, but they could easily just prevent it by not selling your info. Unfortunately, this isn't a solution as Buff has to make money somehow, some way. So overall, I think the risk of your info and habits getting leaked is worth way more than $10 a year. Of course, if you're like 10 or 11 and you can't, you know, get a job or your parents don't want to give you money, that's really the only way to get skins in a game. If you can get like a job, even like minimum wage would get you more money in an hour than this can get you in a year. And it's sad that some people actually use buff as an excuse for playing games. Unless you're like 12, it really isn't worth it to play video games just for buff and just for $10 a year. Especially now knowing that they're selling your info. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video and have a good day.